I'm working on finishing off a book that I wrote about all my teaching methods, stuff that I've learned from all the different teachers I've had over the years. I have to do the surfing for it because the consensus was is that you're the teacher, you need to be in the book showing that you can do the stuff that you're teaching and I, I agree. But it's proven to be real challenging. The first time I did an aerial was when I was 15, so I, I know I can do them, but I just don't devote a lot of time to them. Since I've been doing this project, I'm like, okay, I wrote how to do a frontside air and I wrote how to do a backside air. Technically, here's what you do. You go from here to here to here to here to here. I know what to do physically, intellectually, but experientially, I don't have that much experience. So going about doing it, what I've learned is it just takes time. I've never devoted a whole session to backside airs before in my life. So I was just just doing one every every wave and getting like this high going, I feel like the biggest kook ever. It's completely frustrating because you're giving up a wave. You're giving up riding the wave the way I've been riding a long time. Just connect with the wave down to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top, back to the pocket. Lots of speed and flow and and instead I'm like actually looking for something and I don't even really know how to do this thing, especially backside air. It was really humbling. What have you learned? That I still suck after 38 years of serving. What was really hard was seeing where to do it. I don't see how to do it on the face of the wave like that. I just want to see the lip, a little thing like that, and then I want to hit it off of there. I was kind of looking for something in particular and I think probably what I'll see when I watch the footage two years from now is like, oh my god, look at all those ramps I missed. Going for airs is not everybody's cup of tea. It's, I might not even be doing it myself if I wasn't trying to you know, do it for the book. You know, to show, to prove like, hey, you can learn something and here's how to do it. Now I know I can launch into the air and land on top of the lip. If you land on the wave, it's like a pillow. So I'm just seeing like, oh well, I'll just add this part to my surfing and it'll make my surfing a little less predictable. I want to make one where people are like, cool, that's pretty sick. <laughs>